to start off our petty cash spreadsheet click on B2 enter opening balance at any point in this video tutorial if I go too quick simply just pause the video or go back and view again in B3 let's enter date C3 voucher for our petty cash voucher number in D3 money in all sales and now we will start entering our expenses so E3 I'm going to put refreshments F3 I'm going to put postage G3 stationary in H3 cleaning products and then in I3 I'm going to put other as mentioned in the previous video obviously change these headings to suit your business I'm just going by expense categories that have been used often in businesses that I have worked with our columns won't be wide enough for some of these headings such as refreshments and cleaning products so if we just double click at the end of each of these columns then the columns will adjust automatically to fit our headings and you may want to make some of them, some of them a bit bigger just to better the presentation once that's done highlight rows 2 and 3 let's center them and let's make them bold once again purely for presentation in J3 let's enter total click enter and let's enter an open balance let's say 50 pounds or 50 dollars I like to format the cells of the opening balance so on C2 let's right click click format sales click currency obviously change the symbol to dollars pounds or whatever your currency symbol is click OK now depending on how many transactions will go through petty cash depends on how many rows you want to leave spare to enter transactions but I'm only going to leave 15 rows or so for transactions the example I'm giving is purely for a small business so if you have a lot of transactions per month or per week on the petty cash account obviously leave more rows blank so at row 16 I'm going to highlight the cells from B to J right click click format cells click border click on the bold border enter above the text click OK and we now have a clear border at the bottom of our spreadsheet and we also can enter another border perhaps to separate our expenses from our totals so once again let's highlight some cells let's go from I3 down to I16 right click click format cells choose your border choose where you would like the border click OK and we'll carry on in the next video to watch the next video simply click on the link to the right